in 2011, we introduced a new version of the TurboDrop uh, called a TurboDrop dual fan or an asymmetric dual fan. And you can see it looks a little bit different than the standard TurboDrop. Still has the same uh, injector or venturi body that meters the flow and adds the air. But what's different is the pattern setup. Whereas the, the TDXL TurboDrop has a single fan uh, oriented straight down, the dual fan has two spray patterns, one oriented 10 degree forward and the other 50 degree back. And uh, the thinking behind that was that as you travel faster and faster through a crop or, th or through a field, uh, it's harder to get backside coverage with a, a single fan pointed straight down because the spray tends to travel with you. So with the dual fan, we've got one, one pattern slightly forward to hit the front side of the crop, and then the back pattern is a flatter angle to help with backside coverage, and we actually direct more flow to the back, back spray tip. Again, the, the flow is metered at the top, so this is an 04 and this is an 04, um, whether it's a single fan or a dual fan. So the flow is all here, and this is just our pattern. So it, by directing more flow to the back, we're going to get more backside coverage as we travel through the field. And uh, especially with vertical or complex canopies, we, we're seeing much better coverage on those targets. And one of the things we've done since we introduced the nozzle is we'll alternate them on the boom every 15 or 20 inches or whatever the spacing is. So now we've got a spray pattern going 50 degree back, 50 degree forward, 10 degree forward, 10 degree back. So we've got four different angles of orientation into the canopy or four shots to hit that target weed as you, uh, as you travel over it. And it really enhances the coverage. Um, compared to the, the TDXL, it does bring the droplet size down a little bit too. So at say 60 PSI, where the TDXL might be coarse, uh, the dual fan might be medium. And, and in a lot of cases, like I said, medium is the ideal droplet size for coverage critical chemicals like fungicides, contact herbicides, insecticides. So again, you can run this nozzle at lower pressure for a larger droplet size for drift control. As people look at more and more for drift control, it takes a bigger droplet. And the bigger the droplet, the more you have to find other ways to get good coverage. And one is to put out a lot more gallons per acre, but another is, is spray trajectory. And so we feel like with this new nozzle, by being able to orient the, the, the spray patterns from multiple angles into the canopy, we can really enhance coverage without, uh, without increasing a lot of drift.